妈的，这里空荡荡的。Good morning, guys. So my first meeting of the day started 11 minutes ago, which is a great start, isn't it? Basically, as I said yesterday, I've got the busiest day in the world. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my vlog now, are you? Basically, I've got a meeting straight away about exciting stuff that I can't speak about as usual, and then I am going to Radio One with Marcus. And you'll see that. And then tonight, I'm going to the Mockingjay premiere, which is going to be awesome. So, get prepared for a fun, feel, pat, fun, fun vlog. Oh, should get behind the yellow line. Don't want to be getting hit by any trains. Now, it wouldn't be a daily vlog, would it? Without this shot here. Oh, and I did the novice thing, thinking my ticket was going to come out. But it didn't, because it's only a single. <laughs> That's embarrassing. What are they filming up there? I think that helicopter's filming the army helicopter. Wow, and there's a plane coming underneath it. Three in one shot. I don't know if you can see that. So I just finished up my meeting number one. And me being, oh, this floor's really cool. There's loads of people on it. And me being late didn't actually make too much difference. We got everything done we needed. And now I'm going into the BBC. But first, I just wanted to let you know because I've been tweeting about it, but I haven't yet told you it in a video. Um, the Points Blog book tour is happening and I've got another two dates that I can officially tell you. So, I'm going to Birmingham on... Is Birmingham this Friday? Birmingham is this Friday and then I'm going to <laughs> Manchester on Sunday. It's Manchester Sunday. So, if you guys go down below, there's a link to a Ticketmaster page. And basically, because it is a book signing, you have to purchase a book and then you can meet me. I think there's only like a few hundred tickets. I think there's a thousand tickets for Manchester and 500 tickets for Birmingham. So if you guys are watching this and you're one of the first 1,000 for Manchester or 500 for Birmingham, do go. Do go. So there's only a thousand people that can meet me in Manchester and 500 in Birmingham. Go down below and buy the book with the link that's in the description and then you'll get the chance to meet me. So we just got to Radio 1 and Marcus has given me, I don't even know if you guys know, but basically me and Marcus are doing a show, aren't we? On Monday. On, mon next on Monday, Monday. It's coming out. And I'm just getting taught now how to use the buttons because kindly Marcus has given me the, <laughs> the, the DJ it? role. It's only going to go one, one way if I'm in charge of it. You're going to like fumble them and be like, oh, oh, right, what do I need to do? Right, well, really important. This is called VCS. This is all your music. Yeah, yeah. songs. Picked. So that's them there. Oh, they can't um, see them. <laughs> and uh, they come out with these faders here. Yeah. So I will help you guide those okay. faders up and down and stuff. So you don't need to worry too much about this. This thing here is called Cartwall. And you can see all the different YouTubers that have been here already. Um, and it's sort of touch sensitive, so... Whoa. That's it. Uh, so cool. So is that how people like Tim Westwood are like, DJ, DJ, Exactly, so you, there's some uh, sound effects there, so you can... Oh, I got clip one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's like... Oh. <laughs> Can we use these in our show? Yeah, is that is that the? Yeah. I'm gonna like one minute, Marcus. Somebody's somebody's come here to see you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So you can use them. How do you get back to the other one? Um, and then we just need to pop back onto the YouTube, YouTube channel. show. Yep. And we're gonna we're currently making these IDs for you. So when we're Louise and Jim okay. wet. Yep. Okay. Sprinkle of glitter <laughs> and Jim Chapman. BBC Radio One. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. So your ones are currently getting made, so we'll have those to play for you down the bottom. So when uh -huh. you're coming out of songs and things, you can literally say... Alfie said when we came yeah. in that we have to One, speak with your mouth down, on top of this the whole uh, time. Uh, uh. Um, not quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're literally on air, kind of right now, like we're recording it right now. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm really enjoying it, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I was really nervous at first, but it's really good. Well, there's like barely anyone. Whenever you come onto like big things like TV or like Radio One stuff like that, you assume it's going to be such a big, like scary thing. And there's literally like three people in the room, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, we've recorded 56 minutes so far out of the hour. How's it going? I love it. It's going it's so, so good. good. It's really cool. Look at the live lounge, guys. Right. So cool. We are off now. That was so so much fun. But you have to press a button for the revolving door. And it spins around. 
so before the premiere, which we're going to in an hour, we have to be there an hour. Okay, we've got plenty of time, we're just around the corner. Stopped off for a cheeky little Nando's. So we just arrived at the premiere and we're waiting Liam for the Hensworth. Look how smart Casper looks. Look at him. No, you can't do that inside. Everyone's going to hate you. No, Cas. What are you doing? That's what I just told him. It was for the video. <laughs> Look how smart Joe is as well. Hello. Shiny shoes. Are they little, new shoes? Little pocket square. Um, skinny tie. Yeah. Do you know I had to fold this? Did you do that or did it come like that? I had to fold myself. No, you did it. I swear my life. And it took me so long to do it. I don't even know if it's right. I think it's a different I think you should have it like that far. Yeah, I might do. <laughs> I guess I get a nose big during the film. Sometimes when I get really excited when I'm watching a film, I get to wipe my nose then. So then we get a runny nose or a bleeding nose. Nice. Yeah. No one back in the day there? That was so. Good. The only annoying thing, guys, is that when we got there, I've never ever had this before the premiere. They made us put our phones and our cameras and everything inside little pouches, and then they took them away from us before the red carpet. So I couldn't take any pictures, any videos. I couldn't vlog it, and I was like, surely if anything, you want me to promote this by putting in my vlog so that people get to see what the film's like. I don't know. It blew my mind. Isn't that weird, Maddie? What? They didn't let us take any pictures or video it. Yeah. So, so strange. But um, yeah, it was crazy. Like, Jennifer Lawrence had one bodyguard and she was standing like where Maddie is now, just chilling. She's a cool chick, though. Yeah, she's she was chick. so good. She had one security guard, but obviously nobody had cameras, so I couldn't take any pictures of her, which is annoying. Marcus made the film last I made minute. It. I made it. Were you happy? I'm so. I'm so. Oh, uh, and they've lost his bag. Have you got your. Have you <laughs> So I'm finally back home. It is currently half past 12 in the evening. That was, oh, let me turn this light on for you. That was like the longest journey ever because part of the motorway or dual carriageway or something like that was closed. So we drove through like 8 million miles of countryside. But I'm now back and tucked up in bed, all good. And I forgot to mention that the other day when I said I was filming a secret video, I think it was like two or three weeks ago, that it has finally gone live. I teamed up with the guys over at Danio to film a really funny little skit and it involved their character, the Grumbler. It was just like a bit of fun that we did together and the video is really, really cool. It's just super, super funny. So I leave a link down below if you want to check that out. But that is it for today. That is, that is everything. Since it's so late, I'm just going to watch a couple of YouTube videos, read my comments and then go to sleep. So I'm absolutely gutted that I couldn't um, film the premiere, but as I said, they took my camera, they took my mobile off of me and everything before you go in. And I was like, that's a bit stupid because surely you want me to film the premiere to promote the film, but you're taking it away from me, I don't know. Anyways, that was up to them, I couldn't do it, but I was standing next to so many famous people. It was great, like the, that I get to do opportunities and things like this still baffles me just from making these stupid little videos. Like I'm laying in bed talking to like a tiny little camera this big and then I get to stand next to Jennifer Lawrence. It's mad. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. I don't even know what I filmed because I also couldn't film. Oh no, I filmed in Radio 1 today. That Oh my God, I'm so excited. That is next Monday at 9 o'clock if you want to listen. Um, also, I should let you know. I think I already told you in the vlog. I don't know. Birmingham and Manchester book signing details are down below in the description. Basically, it has to be a ticket event, ticketed event because of what happened in London when like eight and a half thousand of you turned up and it was crazy. We don't want that to happen again. So you have to buy a book from the link down below and then it basically counts as like a ticket, but obviously you guys don't, I don't want you paying to meet me. So you're paying the price of the book and then you get the book on the day and then I'll sign it for you. Um, but there's obviously only a limited number of you because I, it basically has to be ticketed so that we can count how many of you can actually come. So I think there's 500 for Birmingham and 1,000 for Manchester. So I'll leave the links down below. So if you want to come and meet me in Birmingham on Friday or Manchester on Sunday, like this week, literally this week in a few days, then the link's down below. Tell your friends, your grandmas, your dogs, your everything. Your boyfriends, your girlfriends, everything like that. Uh, right. I'm going to go to sleep after reading some comments and things. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.